हेलो बच्चों आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन पी डब्ल्यू इंडिया लार्जेस्ट ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म हाउ आर यू ऑल ऑल गुड दैट्स ग्रेट ओके सो आई नो दैट दिस इज वेरी न्यू फेस टू यू ऑल राइट I know that you all are eager to know about your map first, right? Okay. So let me introduce myself first. Okay. So this is Babhavi Singh. Okay. Your mathematics educator and mentor and your friend too at PW. Okay. And this class is going to be demo class. for today right and what we are going to learn today mathematics yes got it well done so before starting the class your ma'am wanna ask you few questions are you ready to answer oh well done good job okay so I want to ask you that how many of you loves math subject? Oh, that's great. Don't worry, your ma'am is here to make all the difficult topic of mathematics very easy for you all, right? Like a piece of a cake. Okay? So, are you ready? Okay. So, which topic we are going to cover today? fractions what fractions okay so can you read it out loudly for me fractions well done okay so have you heard the term like half one third one fourth ever before yes okay so all these terms are known as fractions okay Yes. So now we are going to start the class. But before starting the class, my huge request to you all, students, keep smiling. Okay. Happy. Now start the class. Okay. But before starting the class, your ma'am is too hungry. Yes, I am hungry, and I have. One chapati to eat. Okay, so I'm going to eat this chapati. But oh no, my sister is calling me, and she is asking to share this chapati with her. Now what to do? I'm also very hungry. Okay, so I'm gonna divide this chapati into two equal parts. What? two equal parts what i did i had divided this roti into two equal parts okay this is half and this is half now half i have given to my sister and half remains with me now i am very happy okay so now we are happy we have divided this roti into half okay so half is known as fraction okay understood yes so what are the topic we are going to cover today what is fraction how to write a fraction what is half one third and one fourth of a fraction which i have already discussed okay and how to find half one third and one fourth of a fraction and how to color all the fractions and we will do some worksheet together at last and i will give you some practice worksheet as your homework which you will have to show me tomorrow in the next class are you ready okay so let's start understanding fractions by a small pizza story okay so how many of you loves to eat pizza That's great. So this is a small pizza story where she is Alina 
and Alina decided to have a delicious pizza because she is very hungry. But meanwhile, the, her three friends are coming at her home and staring at her pizza. Now, what she will do? So she decided to divide this pizza, whole pizza into four equal parts. As I have divided this roti into two parts, equal parts. Okay. So same. Alina decided to divide this pizza into four equal parts. Okay. Okay. So now each part. Okay. Each one gets one part out of whole pizza. Right. So everyone gets one part from the whole pizza. Pizza. Now all are happy. Right? Okay. So do you think that what fraction did this boy get from the hole? Right? Okay. So we, okay. So we have to understand that how to write a fraction and in which form. So fraction is always written in the form of numerator divided by Denominator. Okay. Numerator divided by denominator. And what the denominator is? Denominator is the total number of equal parts. Like Alina divided this whole pizza into four equal parts. One, two, three, four. So total number of part that she divided the pizza is four. So four will be the denominator. And how many parts she is given to her each friend? That is one part out of this four parts. So one is considered to be the numerator. Okay. So each one get one by four parts. Okay. Now you come to know that what the fraction means. Okay. So fraction is a part of a whole. It means if you have a whole pizza, you have to divide it into parts or you, you have to take a part from this pizza, then it will become a fraction, right? Okay. So let's understand what the half means. So when the whole is divided into two equal parts, then each part is considered as half. As an example of an apple, this is a whole apple and we have divided this apple into two equal parts. Then each part is called half and half is written as one by two. Like I have this whole apple. Okay, this is a whole apple and I have divided this whole apple into two equal parts. Now, this is this two equal parts. Okay, so two equal parts. Now each part is known as half and this is fraction. Okay. Now we are going to learn what is one third. Okay. So when the whole is divided into three parts, that is each part is known as one third. Like this is the apple. If I am going to divide this into Three parts. Okay. So we have divided this apple into three parts. So each part is known as one third. Okay. One third. Now if we will divide this, this whole apple into four equal parts. Okay. We are going to divide this apple into one, two, three, four. Four equal parts. Then each part is known as one fourth. Understood? Well done. So now we we will discuss that how to find half, one third and one fourth of a fraction. Okay. Suppose we have total 12 up apples are there. Now we have to find the half of the apple. So always if we have to find the half of anything then we have to divide it by 12 so divide 12 by 2 we will get 6 apples okay 6 is a half of 12 apple okay now 
we have to find one third of 12 apples. So we have to divide 12 by 3. Then we will get 4 apples each. Okay. Again same. We have to find one fourth of a fraction. So we have to divide 12 total by 4. So we will get 3 apple each. Okay. Well done. Now we will discuss how to color the fraction. So how many parts are there total? Can you count it? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So to find the half of 4 part we have to divide it by 2. So what we will get? 2. So we have to color 2 parts. Okay. This. Well done. Now we have to color 1 third of the given shape. So just count it down. How many parts are there in the shape? 12. So we have to define third. So divide by 12 divided by 3. We will get 4. So you have to color 4 parts out of this shape. Okay. Out of this 12 part. So at the end of the class I would like to give you homework. Okay. So what the homework is? What fraction of each figure is not colored? Okay, so I am going to tell you this first one out of six questions. Okay, so you have to first count how many denominators are there because numerator is divided by denominator. So denominator I have told you, you have to count it total numbers. Okay, so total number of the parts 1, 2, 3, 4. So, denominator will be 4. And what the question is asking about? Uncolored parts. So, how many uh, parts are uncolored? So, which is counted down? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 will be the numerator. Okay? Well done. And can you tell me that? Just uh, remember and tell me that what the fraction means? Well done. What the means of half? One third, one fourth, well done. Okay, so this is all for to today. Okay, thank you so much. So we'll meet the next day. Okay, bye.